let's talk about jockeys. If I had to look at the 30 deals from a very 100,000 square foot view, really up top, what do you think the three adjectives are that describe all of your investees? For sure they're intelligent. You know, we're going to get there real quick. And that was part of the questioning, was to bounce around like a ping pong in a maze. I would be bouncing. The questions would go from every direction, and I was watching to see how fast they were keeping up with the bouncing ball. That okay. was part of the game. Second is passion. And I needed to ask, I always ask the question, how much time, how much money have you got invested in this? And one of the producers at Dragon's Den said, why do you always ask that? <laughs> why? Because it's a critical piece of Skin information. Skin in the game. Yeah. What do they have to lose? Yeah. And again, there was no right answer, no wrong answer. I just needed to know really? what they had done. If someone asks you for a quarter million dollars and you ask them, you know, how much do you have in, and they say, none. Not none and I don't have any, but none. I have all my money in someone else's deal. That isn't a killer. Well, I'm not going to like that, for sure. Yeah. But I need to understand the whole package, which is, was this daddy's idea that you just came to the table with? Did you just dream it up with a couple of buddies in a bar? Um, how long, have, well, how much time you got invested in this? And that would tell me how, how far along the gestation process was for the idea. And then likewise, maybe they have no money. And so none is an okay answer, but if they put sweat equity in for a couple of years. The flip side is if they've been working on this for 10 years, I then have to think, is there going to be a day where they give up or should give up? Because one of the great traits of entrepreneurs is tenacity, and that's the last thing. So first of all, intelligence. Second, passion. And the third is tenacity. Intelligence, and, passion, and tenacity. And tenacity can go to a fault, i.e. delusional. Uh -huh. But we also know that quite often in the sales business, there's a great line that says, next call is the one that's going to be a sale. So I mean, you've got to have the gumption, the courage to sit in the saddle and still keep phoning. 